Uh, Brother Yoni, it's uh, great to, uh, to be here with you again. And uh, I've known Yoni for, for many years here. He's been a part of the uh, ministry in the Pika Pika area for quite some time. But uh, what we wanted to do is hear a little bit about his testimony first and, uh, and then talk a little bit about the ministry that God has, has called him to. So uh, I've asked him to share a little bit about uh, how he came to the Lord and what that journey has, has been like. See me, me testimonio. My testimony was something amazing. How I could see the work of God in me. That blessing that came from heaven. I am very grateful to the Lord. And also to my children because they were the ones who always invited me to come to the ministry here at the chapel. And they insisted and come and come come to listen to the gospel. There are some missionaries through uh, the building of chapels who are coming to speak to us. And usually I did not listen to them. Because I was really in darkness, totally in darkness. He was totally destroyed. I used to do many things that were not pleasing to the Lord. But my kids were always inviting me, insisting to come. Until one day, Pastor Carlos and Pastor Karen went to my house. Y me predicaron el evangelio. And they preached to me the gospel. Del libro eh, Romano 3:23. From Romans 3:23. In Juan 6. And also from John chapter 6. Juan 6, 16. In John 6, 16. El fin es que cuando ya vengo conociendo, cuando vengo conociendo y escuchando la palabra del Señor. And after listening to the gospel several times. Gracias a ellos. Thank you. Thanks eh, to them. Yo pude... I came eventually to the church that at that time was the first and new chapel that we received. And there I heard the gospel once again. And even in the middle of the preaching, I raised my hand. And it didn't matter that they were preaching, I raised my hand and, and you can tell how little knowledge I had. And then eventually the Lord gave me enough, enough boldness to uh, take the decision to come to Christ. But eventually I came to learn more and more of the Word of God. And then eventually I was able to see how time ministers came and built the second chapel and the third chapel. And by seeing the love and the dedication of all these groups, I began to learn more and more about what true love is. I saw their dedication, their love to the work that they were doing. And, and they become a great example, not only to me, but also to my family. This God has used to change my life into a whole different life. And I'm very happy today. And today I am a deacon at this church. And I've also seen Time Ministries bless us in other communities here. Tanto aquí como en la comunidad de Porquero. Not only here, but also at the community of Porquero. Pastor Carlos and I were going over there to share the gospel. Donde ya hay personas que han, han confesado el nombre de Jesucristo, muchos otros visitan. Donde esta es una comunidad que está totalmente perdida. Y hay people, personas que han conocido. Where people who have been totally lost have come to know Christ and their, their lives have changed as well. Gracias a Dios por salvarme. Gracias por el amor de ustedes. And I thank God for saving me and for the love 
that time ministry has showed me. Do you remember the, I would be interested in the reaction of your children when, uh, when you raised your hand in that, in that service. What, what did you say to them or what did they say to you after that? Me gustaría saber la reacción de tus hijos cuando tú levantaste la mano en medio de la predicación. ¿Cómo respondieron ellos cuando tú tomaste esa decisión? Bueno, cuando yo tomé la decisión when I made that decision, de que acepté al Señor como, como when un Salvador, I accepted Christ as my Lord nadie Savior, lo creía. And none of them believed me. Mi esposa dudó muchísimo. My wife pasó, doubted me. Se sorprendió porque she como was so, so amazed. un hombre tan, tan, tan infiel como era como lo era yo. Uh, how a man who was so unfaithful tan like incomprensible. me. That I did Hoy not me dice que la mano y understand her. That I raised my hand to accept the Lord. Uh, que ella tuvo que esperar uno o dos años. She had to wait Para like a year or more to see if it was real. A un mis amigos también. Even ellos, my friends. Me decían que tú no cojas la cosa de Dios arreglada. Porque they told me and even warned me, don't take the things of God like uh, lightly. Y ellos no esperaban de que yo iba a durar un mes o quizá dos meses. They even kind of joke about that I was not going to uh, remain as a Christian for more than a month. Por aquí estoy por la casa de Dios. Por aquí estoy por nueve años. Por aquí estoy por la casa de Dios. Nueve años. Y mi casa y yo, como dice el libro de Y mi casa y yo, como dice el libro de Josué. Hasta ahora estamos sirviendo al Señor. And like the book of Joshua says, my house and myself, we're both serving the Lord. Amen. That's so great to hear. So with your with your ministry that you're leading in, in Porquero, how, how can we be praying for that? And how can we be praying for you and, and for your family? Y con el ministerio allí en Porquero, ¿cómo podemos orar por el ministerio y por ti y tu familia que están sirviendo allí? Bueno, primeramente, por aquella persona que son muchos los que no conocen de ese nombre. First of all, maybe you can pray for the many people over there that still don't know the Lord. Tanto niños como adultos, jóvenes. And both kids, young people and adults. Viven una vida eh, muy diferente a lo que era eh, esta comunidad de Pica Pica. And they're still living in, in darkness, very different from what God has done here at Pica Pica. Y eso me apasiona porque... Lo que el Señor me ha ido mostrando es que yo debo servir y tengo que servir a esta And I'm passionate about being used by God to bring this community of Porquero to the Lord. Pero la, la decisión de yo ir a estos lugares, llevar el Evangelio, viene porque okay, al aprender tanto prácticamente de los hermanos que vienen de los Estados Unidos como lo son ustedes. But the decision to go and share the gospel of Porquero has come after seeing the example of those who come from the U.S. through Thai Ministries to help us. And I wonder how people come from so far away to serve us. And why is it that I cannot go to closer places to share the gospel? Y el Señor le ha bendecido a ustedes, nos ha bendecido a nosotros. And just like God has blessed you, has blessed us. Porque nos han construido una capilla. En ese through lugar. building up these chapels. El cual ha sido de, de gran bendición a nuestra vida. It has been a great blessing to us. Amen. Amen. What, uh, what a good example and uh, what a good challenge to the, uh, to the rest of us to uh, not only go across the world, but also to, to serve in our own backyards where, where we are the most comfortable with with uh, our local culture. So, uh, Brother Yoni, I want to thank you so much for your time. Uh, God bless your, uh, your ministry in Porquero, and, uh, and we'll keep praying for you, too. Thank you so much. Amen. Gracias, hermano. Amen.